Hi, Emmanuel here with Transformed to Succeed, T2S. In this video today, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how you can customize a CentOS terminal. And the reason why I'm having this video, it's because, you know, CentOS, that's, a, that's an open source uh, for Linux. And this provides, you know, that's a community enterprise operating system. It's kind of like a, a replica of everything that you want to learn about Red Hat Enterprise Linux in Ingrel, which is a commercial platform. You master CentOS, then you master the Red Hat uh, operating system. So. And the reason why we use CentOS at T2S is because we prepare our students, we prepare our trainees to be ready. I mean, when they get a job uh, as, as a Linux administrator, they they can master easily Red Hat. So we will we, we use this as a as a learning platform. In in this video, specifically, I'll be just sharing with you how you can customize your CentOS terminal. So let's uh, jump right into it. And here I have uh, I have a CentOS nine. So I'm just gonna uh, log in. Uh, I'll log in into my. Uh, I need to get rid of this first so that I can see my screen here. So I, I log into my uh, onto my system. You go to activities, go to terminal, and here what I've done, I have already uh, I, I, I made I made some change. But by default, this screen, uh, you know, the background here, it's not white; it's black. It's kind of like dark. And how do you customize? What you do to customize, you just uh, go to these three bars here. You click on these three bars. Then you go to preferences. When you get to preferences, and then you see here, you can change, you can change your background. If you do dark, then it becomes dark. See, and if you do light, it becomes light. If you do default, it becomes default but I'm gonna leave it at light and then here you have profiles you can add profiles for instance you can say I'm gonna use the new profile only for demos so you create a profiles and that also allows you to uh, decide okay this is for what I use for a specific reason or a specific purpose and then unnamed I use it also for a sp specific purpose and uh, so we are focusing on the demo profile here and you have the different options you have the text you have the colors you have the scrolling you have the command compatibility so you can just play with all of these options on your own time but what I'm gonna do now is just to change you can change like the initial terminal size you can make it bigger or you can make it smaller depending on what you want to achieve so let's say we make it at 70 here and then we'll test it and then I don't want to change rows here and you can customize the font so here instead of doing this you could maybe decide of using uh, deja vu uh, sans mono and then uh, you go down here you can change the size and then here this part here gives you like a preview of what the the changes will look like when you apply them then let's say we do 16 here and then click select you can also use this uh, thing here you know 
you see as you move it to the right the font change uh, the font size uh, becomes a little bit bigger and uh, to the left it becomes smaller and uh, or you can just select here click plus plus to go to the desired font size and I'm gonna stick with 16 click select and here you have the uh, curse shape that you want if you do I beam or underline that's up to you you have to decide that on your own and here you have the reset if you want to reset everything to what it was before like here so it goes back to back to 80 and uh, if you want to reset the height and width you also do it here by clicking here so at this point uh, I'll try 70 as we agreed at the beginning and and that that should be it so if you go back you can close this one here then you open and you make sure that here where you see this uh, arrow here to the left you can select the different profiles that you have like if you do a name you see changes to that if you do terminal you know it changes because I changed this and I made it blue kind of like dark blue and if you want to do demo this is what we just did and when you get here you can you can also uh, play with this if you drag this uh, should be draggable so I'm gonna close the other ones that I have opened so if you drag this one and you look at the you go to the corner push your cursor to the corner uh, top or top left or right so that allows you to resize your your terminal and when you do that then it is what as you desire desired your terminal to look like so that's pretty much pretty much about it if you wanna yeah that's pretty much about what I can say concerning um, how you can customize uh, your CentOS terminal so thank you so much for watching I hope to see you in the next video